This is problem 1.4.10, and I'm going to do parts A and C for you. So it tells us to go back to figure 1.25 when we're talking about the assembly lines that can either be shut down, full, or partial capacity, or full capacity. And so we have all of our probabilities over here in our image. Okay. And A says, let's find the probability that both lines are at full capacity, conditional on neither line being shut down. So we're looking for the probability that both are full, and it says conditional upon, that means given, or a conditional probability, neither shut down. And so again, we're looking for the probability that both are at full capacity, and it's conditioned on the fact that neither are shut down. Now, anytime you want to find a conditional probability, start by using your formula. Your formula says, first find the probability of the intersection, so both full, intersected with neither shut down. Sorry, I have a lot of lag today. Divided by the probability of what comes second. It's always the probability of what comes second that goes on the bottom. So probability of neither shut down. So to do this, I'm actually going to go up and come look at my figure. Instead of trying to do a lot of fancy arithmetic or something, I'm just looking at the figure. So find the probability of the intersection. We want the probability that both full intersected with neither down. So maybe come up and first circle things that have neither shut down. So for neither shut down means that there can't be any S's. So neither shut down would be this quadrant right here. So neither would be this 0.14 plus 0.2 plus 0.21 plus 0.19, which is 0.74. Okay, so that's the probability of neither. We want the probability of both full and neither down. So we found neither shut down. Okay, let's see. So we have the probability of neither shut down, which is the 0.74. So we can put that on the bottom. Okay. Now let's find the intersection that with both full. So here's our neither shut down. Now look for anything that has both full. Well, the only thing that has both full is right here. So the intersection of both full and neither shut down is right here where they overlap. And that is 0.19. So do that. To we get 0.2567. I usually like to do probabilities out to four decimal places. Let's do part C now. It's very similar. I'm just going to go down so I can write on the picture again. I like to kind of use the picture to write on. So for C, we have one line is at full condition, full capacity, conditional on exactly one line being shut down. Okay, so we're looking for the probability that one is full. Now when it says conditional, that means if we know. So we're looking for the probability that one is full if we know that exactly one is shut down. So again, we always start by writing out the formula. So if you have an intersect or a conditional probability, you do the probability of the intersection. So one is full. Intersect with exactly one is shut down. And divide by the conditional probability that you know, which is exactly one shut down. And that's the probability that exactly one shut down. So coming up here, let's find everything that has one is full. So for one is full, that would be this, this one, this one, this one, this one. Oh, and technically this one would have one is full. Because I didn't say exactly one. Usually it would if that's what they wanted. So if one is full, that would be any of these. Okay, with this one, maybe kind of optional because they didn't say exactly one. I think they would have if they didn't want you to include this one. Okay. Now, that's blue is for one is full. Now let's switch to red for the other one here. 
So blue is one and full. Now let's switch to red and find exactly one is shut down. So exactly one is shut down. That wouldn't be this first one of SS because we want exactly one. So here, 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 here. And I think that's it, right? So that's one shut down. So where do they actually intersect? So the intersection is green. They intersect here and here. That's where they actually intersect. So we want the probability of the intersection on top. So the intersection is this piece and this piece. And I actually covered those up so I can't even see them anymore. I think that says 0.05 plus 0.06 are the two that we set for the intersection. And then for the bottom we need exactly one shut down. So that was everything in red. So let's come back to everything that's in red. So 0 0.05, a 0 0.06, a 0 0.07, and another 0 0.06. And if I put all this together I get, we get 0.458. So again, just to remind ourselves, what does the conditional part tell us? If this is one line is at full capacity, conditional, that means if you already know that exactly one line is shut down. So this is saying, if you already know that one line is shut down, what's the probability that one is still going to be at full capacity? So one is shut down, then what's the probability that the other one is at full capacity? And that probability would be about 45%.